Hey guys, it's Brie. So today's video is on this lovely pad right here. I have had a ton of questions about this particular pad, given as it's now in the new banner that's at the top of my channel page. So this pad is made by DDB, Dinky Dot Spots, and it's her secrets range. She embroiders her brand on the wing of all her pads. I think you can see there. Hang on, there you go. So it's by Dinky Dot Spots. This was sent to me by Jackie uh, for free to do a review on. A ton of you had asked me about her pads because she's pretty new starting up with the cloth menstrual pads. However, she has made cloth nappies for a while now, I think over a year, and I will find some pictures and link them for you because her nappies are amazing. They're full seam nappies, in particular the ones I'm thinking of, but she does half seams and all that kind of stuff as well. And they really are something else. So as I said, if I can find some pictures, I will link them in right here. But back to the pad, because obviously it's the pad that I can test out the most. Uh, she has this beautiful centre stitching, which is what makes her pads a lot more different from other people's pads. So this one here has the butterflies. And this gorgeous dyed pad, which I absolutely love hand dyed um, prints, if you know me from my channel. And this is hand dyed cotton jersey, I think. Yeah, it's cotton jersey. I've actually found that I find cotton jersey a little bit too thick for me, a little bit too warm. Um, I do really like cotton, but I think the cotton jersey, just because it's a bit more stretchy, is a little bit thicker, and I think that makes a bit of difference to me. Uh, but I still really liked it, and I still way prefer it to Minky. So Jackie asked me if I would like to try her pad for her, and I said yes, of course. And she also sent this little wet bag with me, which is super cute with the unicorns on. It's just a small little out and about wet bag. I haven't actually had a chance to use this yet, but all wet bags work, because all you do is you take your folded up pad and put it inside when you're out and about and bring it back home, put it in your wash bin or wet bag or whatever you use, and uh, it will work. So that will work, and it's really cute, it has this little tag as well. The other thing that she sent when she came, it came beautifully wrapped by the way, was her business card and this little wax melt, which I need to find my little wax melt burner. I can't find it anywhere, sod's law, now I've got a wax melt to actually burn on it. This is her little business card, and on the back she tells you how to tell the absorbency of her pads, and the absorbency of her pads is actually indicated by this centre stitching here. So for a panty liner, it's the flowers. For moderate flow, for the moderate flow, it's the butterfly like I have. For heavy flow, it's the heart, and for night slash postpartum, it's the little moon. I think you can see that there. And she also put the business card in of the person who made the wax melts. So overall super cute packaging, and this thing smells amazing. So onto the pad itself, I found this quite a bulky pad, it is pretty thick for a regular flow, as you can see it's got the, uh, I can't talk straight today, it's got the butterflies on it, um, and you can see it is a pretty thick regular pad compared to some of the other brands. Some people like thicker pads, which is why I feel like you've got to learn what you like. If I fold it in half, you can see here. Okay. Comes with two snaps as standard, and this is made from cotton jersey on top, as I said before, put it out the right way. Cotton jersey on top, then it has a layer of absorb and hemp fleece inside, PUL hidden in the back, and then a layer of white micro fleece on the back. I didn't leak through it, didn't have any leaking issues. I used it on the third day of my period, which is still a regular, but it's kind of getting light by that point. Um, I could see through the back of it, my period, whereabouts I bled, it was right in the centre here. And uh, that's quite normal with white fleece backing, and as I said, I didn't actually leak through the fleece, it was just like I could see it. I used it on the second snap, so this is what it looks like on the first, and this is what it looks like on the second. Yeah, I think this is either 9 or 10 inches long, and I think it's 10 inches long. Like I said, that's fine for my regular day. I think I said this before, but this is the only cotton jersey pad I actually have, and I asked her to surprise me with the fabric and everything. And I found I wasn't super, super keen on it, but I didn't dislike it. It's just not my favourite top fabric. And it worked perfectly well, as I said before. Um, the thing for me is it is quite a thick pad, and I do tend to like thinner pads. But the stitching on this thing is absolutely beautiful, you can see here. With all the lovely inner core stitching. Uh, the way she turns and top stitches her pad is on the wing, and she only does one line of stitching here. But I think she's now doing it around both of the wings, so that they kind of match each other. Kind of a personal preference for me that I prefer is I tend to like pads which are top stitched the whole way around. I don't know, I just find that these tend to stay um, more trim, especially after they've been washed and they're fluffed up and everything. I definitely find that top stitched pads that 
sorry, pads with top stitch all the way around tend to last a little bit better. But um, there's nothing about this which feels cheap or bad quality, so I'm pretty sure this will last just as long. But as I said, it's just a personal preference, so if you prefer to have top stitch pads, then this might not be one you should consider. The good thing to having a thicker pad is that you always feel really secure, like you can just tell that you're not going to leak through it because you feel much more safe, because you can feel like the thickness of the absorbency between your legs, so to speak. So overall, I really did like this pad. As I said, uh, Jackie sent it to me for free for a review, but I was not paid to do it or anything, so it's just my honest opinions. It's not my favourite pad, just because it is quite thick and I tend to like thinner pads, but if you do like thicker pads, then you should definitely consider her. She is a UK seller. She sells on her website, which I think is www.dinkydotspots.co.uk. Uh, but she also sells mainly, I think, through her Facebook page now, which is Dinky Dot Spots Modern Cloth Creations. So if you want to have a look at her stuff, go and check her out. As I said before, I will have linked those pictures beforehand. But thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe because I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Like me on Facebook and all the different links down below, and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.